Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric. I'm here to review a movie called The Human Centipede, first sequence. Um, wow. I, this is the most disturbing movie I've ever seen in my life. I know a lot of people say that a Siberian film is, is much worse but I haven't seen a Siberian film, so I can't really say it's worse. But I bet a billion dollars that that it is worse. But I haven't seen it, so so yeah. The Human Centipede first sequence. It's a 2010 Dutch horror. I think it's a Dutch horror film. I really don't know. Um, it's written and, and directed by um, Tom Six. It stars Dieter Laser, Ashley C. Williams. Um, I can't really pronounce the Japanese guy's name. I'm sorry, I just I just can't pronounce Japanese names. And it's an Ashton Yeti or something like that. It's about these two girls, they're off driving. They they run into this mad scientist who has a fascination of of stitching people together, mouth to the anus. At first, Dieter Lacer's character, Dr. Heiter, he kidnaps this one trucker, but he kills the the trucker because his blood doesn't match the blood of the two girls. So he kills him, he finds a Japanese guy, and yes, and he, he connects them, mouth to the anus. He cuts like, he he cuts the ligaments, or I think that's how you pronounce it, of their kneecaps, so that they can no longer walk. Rips out all their teeth, and connects the mouth to the anus like he part like he cuts part of their butt off and like like he like sews it to like that part of their cheeks. The two back people can no longer speak, but the but the front guy's lucky because he don't have to eat shit, but still, he still has to feel guilt over taking a shit in someone else's mouth. Um, so yeah, this is, I was never the same after I saw this movie. Some of you might be asking me, how did I find out about the human centipede first sequence? I remember it was after Mrs. Brown's memorial. Um, I was at my friend's Kenny. I was at my friend Kenny's house. He was talking about a movie called The Human Centipede. He said it was disgusting, and, and I got curious. Then one day I was with my friend Sebastian. We were on Netflix, and we saw that they had The Human Centipede. I thought, it can't be that bad, right? Boy, was I wrong. It's certainly not a great movie by any chance. A lot of people hate on this movie, but honestly, I can kind of see why. I think it's because that they just don't like to admit the fact that they liked a movie about people shitting in each other's mouths. This movie is just so... It's different. It, it, it truly did shock me because it's nothing what I've ever seen before. Okay. The acting in the beginning from the two chicks... It's not horrible, trust me. I've seen much worse acting, like in Thanks Killing. No movie has, I repeat, no movie has any acting worse than that. No movie can have worse acting than that. But the acting in the beginning from the girls was okay. But, but when it actually shows all, all the centipede stuff, the acting from from the two girls is amazing. You actually believe what is happening right in front of your eyes. The makeup the makeup effects were absolutely great. They looked very, very realistic. Um, but yes, there are flaws with the human centipede. One, there isn't a whole lot of character development. Two, there's a lot of cliches like, you know, their um like their tire pops. And they go into this house in the, which which is in in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, there are there are cliches, but due to how shocking this movie really is, it kind of makes up for it. I was I was so shocked from what I saw. 
I was I was literally never the same ever again after I saw the human centipede. Um, whenever I whenever I use the restroom, I always think of the human centipede. I always think of it. Um, the acting from Dieter Lacer, who played the villain, I swear he has got to be one of the one of the scariest movie villains I've ever seen in my life. Even by just looking at the actor, I know that 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 the actor is absolutely nothing like the character in real life, but still, he did such a good job that you didn't even want to look at him. Um, there and there are some other flaws like. Like, like, like this one part at the end, um, the centipede is on like this table and somehow it got off. I don't know how it got off. And I know that this is a major spoiler. If you haven't seen the human centipede, just stop watching. Then go watch it and then come right back to this review. Okay, I, I, I'm assuming that that some people who haven't seen The Human Centipede is gone by now. But one thing that kind of made me angry at the very end. Okay, so Doc, so Doctor Heiter comes back down to his to his um, to his lab or something like that, and he sees that his centipede's gone. And then like the well, and then the uh, front person of the centipede grabs out. I. I forget what it was. I haven't seen this movie in a while. He stabs him in the foot, like he rips out part, like he bites his neck and he rips out part of his neck. And then the centipede just walks away. Dude, if I was the front person, I wouldn't have just injured him. I would have, I would have murdered him. He was the one who, who pretty much ruined your whole life. He made you be a part of the centipede. No one would ever want to be a part of the human centipede especially the middle piece especially the middle piece but why didn't but why didn't the but why didn't the front person just 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 kill that bastard why and another flaw at the very end which i thought was kind of stupid how the front person just like just like killed themselves because well, at first I thought that like the front person and the doctor were gonna have this fight, but then he talked about like how how like he betrayed his family or something like that. And then he sliced his neck with with a part of the broken glass. But 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 that's but that's one of the things like that made the ending work because the because the front person's dead, the back person's dead, everyone else in the house is dead. Except for the middle girl. That was the most disturbing ending I've ever seen. So many horror films just try to have a surprise ending. And a lot of them fail. But this one, this movie truly had an ending that truly did shock me. It truly did surprise me. God, even thinking about the ending just, just creeps me the fuck out. Oh, so anyways, that's my review of The Human Centipede. Eh, it's not, it's not a movie that everyone's gonna love. Um, definitely not a family movie. Keep this away from the kids. Keep it hell, hell away from them. Um, this movie's, uh, this movie's offensive. Um, your parents aren't probably gonna like this movie. Your grandparents aren't, aren't gonna probably like it. I know a lot of people that that say that this movie's fucked up, but wait until you see the sequel. I heard that the sequel is much worse. I'm curious about the sequel. Um, I was gonna watch it on demand, but I saw that it, but I saw it wasn't on there. So, but I don't have to worry because my friend John. John Ferrari or Ferrera or, or or however you pronounce it. He said that he's like gonna send me a copy of the Human Centipede 2 on VHS, so I'm so I'm gonna watch it and and as soon as I see the Human Centipede 2, I'll be sure to do a review of it. So anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. I think that this review is long enough. So see you later.